Like, and maybe they would, if he stopped it, they would kick it, but you know, just took a shot there, so. Go across the aisle in the fifth row. Katie Brown from K2 TV Portland. Jeff, I saw you, you know, kneeling along the sideline with a lot of your teammates when they were going for that field goal, and then you were really emotional leading the field. I guess, what, what was going through you as you were processing that? Um, you know, it's just been a, a roller coaster ride ever since I've got to Eugene. And, um, you know, I've got the greatest teammates, uh, coaches, and fans, uh, you know, that, that I've ever, uh, you know, could dream of. And um, just a lot of emotions. Uh, you know, obviously as a senior, uh, it's not, not the way you want to go out. But, uh, you know, I'm excited to be able to watch these guys next year because uh, a lot of them are coming back. We'll go to the first row on my left over here. Adam Bagney, uh, ABC 32 in Montgomery. Coach Kelly, uh, to your far left. Uh, Coach Chizik uh, called Cam the best college football player he's ever seen. What were your opinions on him now seeing him in person? He's a great football player. I'm not into ranking guys. You know, I wasn't there to see Sammy Ball play, but you know, <laughs> in my career as a head coach, he's the best player I've seen. We'll go all the way to the back right on the camera platform. Uh, Rick Morgan, DuckNews.com. This is for Darren. And I was just wondering if Darren could answer a question about uh, the Auburn defense. Did they provide any surprises to you, or did you see what you expected from them? Well, they came on and did a good job, but like I said, we stopped ourselves on, on a lot of the plays. Mental, mental, just mental breakdowns on our own. They really didn't stop us a lot, but we shot ourselves in the foot. Got a question in the third row to my left. Um, this is Colonel Michael James. Uh, I'm David Moore with USA Today. Uh, did you, what did you see when you were handed the ball? Was it just uh, a block wall? Did you, was it just hard to see any openings at all to try to run through? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, their defense line is really good. You know, it's, it's really tough to get around those guys. And uh, it really was a difficult matchup. Uh, Fairly really is a great player. And so is number 17. They just have great defenders in the front uh, four. Front row right in front of Coach Kelly, please. John on Sports Radio 95.5 game in Portland, both for Coach and Cliff. Uh, what happened on the, the key play with Dyer there late in the fourth quarter where Greg was down and ends up? Just talk about that a little bit. What happened? The, just the, the play with Dyer. You know, it, it, I think Eddie had him, and uh, it seemed like he rolled over. I couldn't tell exactly where we were. And they buzzed down for a replay, but obviously he was up. You know, he did a great job of keeping himself going, whistles and balls. So, and I made a play. The kid made a play. He's a good football player. We'll go to the front row, all the way on the right, please. Michael Collins, KWBA, Eugene. Coach, practice and, and preparation have been such a big point of emphasis for you. Do you feel like looking back now that the, the preparation was adequate? That's a good question. No, I, mean, I can't say yes because we lost the game, but I think, you know, I, I think sometimes you've got to give credit to Auburn. I think they did a, a great job. I think our players understood what we were trying to get accomplished. My hat's off to Auburn because they got some great players that really made plays for them when they need to. Go to the center aisle here, halfway back. Michelle Smith, AOL Fan House. Jeff, can you just talk about the swing? You guys score, you get the two point conversion, and then that play happens. And just did that feel a little like a punch to the gut? Uh, definitely. I mean, uh, you know, we, we fought all game. Uh, and all offensively, we were struggling, and our defense came up with a huge play for us. And uh, we were able to score and get the two point. And, uh, you know, it looked like overtime was uh, in the future, but uh, no things ha those things happen in, in games, and uh, you know we understand that, and uh, you know the ball just didn't go our way. So. Front row here on the left hand side. Hi, uh, BJ Antiola with the Fresno Beat. Uh, Cliff, this is for you. Uh, that, that that second near interception. Uh, what you, how would you describe how that play was, and how big of a swing was that when they rolled it, uh, not an interception? There? Uh, that was big for us. You know, we came up with a stop. And then, you know, due to the call, they said it was overturned, and they kept, you know, they gave me one back the ball. So, I mean, that was big for us. But at the same time, we had, you know, plenty of other chances, you know, to come up with the W, which just fell a little short. Did you feel you had you had the interception? Oh, uh, yeah, I caught the ball. That was no doubt. But, you know, it's not about what I did. It's about the ruling on the field. Third row on the center aisle, please. It's one of the uh, upset things in your option run game. Like, it seemed like they put a lot of pressure on you to make really quick decisions, both, both through the air, but, but when you were trying to run the option as well. Oh, yeah, they came on, had a good plan for us. They mixed it up a lot. Sometimes the defense man was crashing or sitting on it, but they came on with a good plan. Hats on to their defense, but like I said, we had a chance to make the plays to come out and win the game that we didn't make. 
you go over there on the right hand side, fourth row. John Gonzano with the Oregonian. Coach Kelly, at the end of the game, you stand in the tunnel. You've got some guys leaving, you've got some guys coming back. Your discussions with those guys, uh, how soon do you start talking about next year, or what were you telling these guys as they were coming off? Keep their heads up, that I love them. You know, I, I watch those guys grow. Uh, you know, from last year, our first team meeting on January 8th, and to where they are, it was a, it's been an unbelievable journey, and they should be proud of themselves. And we'll go to the second row, center aisle. Uh, Coach Kelly, Ken Go, the Oregonian. Uh, Auburn's up 19 to 11, and, and your defense makes a big play, and then your offense takes it down the field. Can you talk a little bit about the way your team battled back at that point in the game? Yeah, the, you know, I think the our team thrives off each other. And, and uh, you know, it was five minutes ago in the game, and um, I, I thought our defense was doing a good job at least containing them. Um, they, and we were hoping they were going to come up with a big play, and, and you watch how excited our offense is, thriving off of what our defense did. And, Darren made a couple plays on that drive, and Michael made a couple plays on that drive, and then Jeff comes up with a big catch for the two-point play. But you know, it's kind of how this team works. They, they care so much about each other and they love each other is that they feed off each other. Third row on the white shirt. Uh, AJ Jacobs with Rivals.com. This is for Aaron Thomas. Aaron, um, were you surprised by the low-scoring nature of this game? Oh, we know it was going to, we know it was going to be a blowout. We know it was going to come on and make it a battle. It was a good battle. We fought to the end. I'm just happy that my offense came out and battled all the way to the end. We didn't have it in our hands to finish the game, but like I said, it was a long battle. Everybody fought hard. I know everybody left everything on the field, so I'm happy with how the whole game went. We just with the W. Go to the second row right in front of me, please. Aaron Ventures with the Rebellion. This is for Cliff. They ran the post with the wheel combination about six or seven times tonight. You could have set the one. You almost intercepted the other. And then they got three or four big plays on the same back exact same play in the second and third quarter. Did you expect to see that play a lot, and why were you going to get to defend it in the game? Uh, from watching film, we noticed that that was a go-to play, you know, when they needed that big play. And, you know, it was like a 50-50. You know, we defended it half of the time, and half of the time, you know, they got, they, they completed it. So, it was just a battle, you know. I hope y'all enjoyed the show we put on for you know. We'll go to the center aisle in the back of the room, please. Third row, center aisle. Mike, you, you shared a moment with Nick Barely after the game. Can, can you describe just going head to head with him the whole way, and then also you share it all kind of what your interaction was with him there at the end? I really don't want to say, but you know, uh, it was not even bad at all. You know, I was calling him cheating. He uh, kept grabbing my face mask. But, you know, he really is a good guy. You know, he's a competitor. Uh, I was up for the challenge. You know, uh, it was just really a overall good battle between him and Office Line and me. You know. Uh, so, you know, no matter how hard you hit me, I'm always going to get up. I think it was one of those conversations. Any other questions? I believe we have one on the center aisle in the yellow, please. Yes, for, well, any of you, uh, Darren, Michael, just, uh, it's been more than a year since you guys had, it, got, had experienced a loss. So, uh, I guess, how did it feel when you're walking off that field? It's been a long time. Nobody likes losing, you know. When you're a competitor, you don't want to lose. But you know, Coach Kelly tells you, know, we play football, but it doesn't define who we are. You know, there's gonna be better days. You know, uh, we have next year. You know, we're gonna play plenty more football games. We're gonna win plenty more. You know, uh, I think this is a lesson for us. You know, nobody likes to lose. You know, it, it really hurts. You know, I said this one's probably gonna hurt for a while. But uh, I think we're gonna be really determined in the offseason to get back out there next year. Work harder. We'll take three more questions. We've got one halfway back on the center aisle. Chip, a lot was talked about about pace this week and how quickly you guys played. Did you play as fast as you wanted to play? At times, yeah, I thought we had it ramped up pretty good. And then other times, we we didn't. You know, you, when you get behind with a uh, penalty or something like that, it kind of puts you off track. But you know, there were times we had it rolling pretty good, and then other times it wasn't going as fast as we should have. Been. Back room, back of the room in the center aisle, please. Nope. Any final questions? Got one in the front row here. If you had to simplify this into, into one thing, would, would it be fair to say that the, the physical dominance on the line would be the most the biggest thing that stood out? No. What stood out to me is how both teams competed and put on a great show for. I agree with Cliff. I think it was a great show. <laughs> right, Cliffy? Yes, sir. Yeah.
And he finally